Hello and welcome to the Yoga Society. I'm Tani and today's sequence is called Restart and Reboot. I originally designed this sequence for Australian Yoga Life magazine. I hope you really enjoy it and I'll meet you on the mat. Find yourself in a comfortable seated position, turning the palms to the sky and letting the hands rest somewhere along your thighs. Letting your eyes gently shut and floating your chin parallel to the ground. Shoulder blades gliding down and away and bringing yourself towards your stillness. Starting to take deep belly breaths. And starting to settle. Tuning into the sounds around you. And taking this moment to dedicate this next half hour just to you. There is nowhere else to be and nothing else to do. We're gonna get started straight away. So finding your way onto all fours, planting the wrists under the shoulders and the knees under the hips. making sure your toes are directly behind your knees and there's one straight line from crown to tail. Big, wide, wide hands. We're gonna flip your toes under straight away. So all 10 toes are now turned under. We're gonna drop your belly, lift your face, carve a line with your nose all the way up to the sky, inhale, and on the exhale, draw the crown forward, belly button to spine, and we float the knees. So lift your knees up, we hold and hover. Your shins are now parallel to the ground. Keep pressing away from your mat, your one straight line, crown to tail. Breathe. <sighs> on your next exhale, we're gonna lower the knees. Inhale, lift your face. Exhale, hover knees, send the crown forward. Inhale here. Exhale, lower your knees. Inhale, cow, lift your face. This time we go straight back to downward facing dog. So the exhale, chin to chest, float your knees, hips to the sky. Downward facing dog. Adho Mukta Svanasana. Pedal it out. Really explore this shape. How is your body feeling today? Ah, clawing into the fingertips. Pressing away from your yoga mat. Sending your heart all the way back towards your thighs. Doing whatever movement feels right here and come then towards your stillness. Head is heavy, the skin on your face is relaxed. Your underarms come closer together as we externally rotate your shoulders and send your hip points even higher to the sky. So it doesn't matter if your heels aren't on the ground straight away, we will sacrifice the heels on the ground to get extra height in your hips so really lift your hips up and really send your heart back. Breathe, breathe, breathe. <sighs> From here, we anchor through the right heel. So put the right heel on the ground and we float the left leg into the sky. So you wanna dial the left toes towards the right. So we keep the knees in alignment and we keep the hips in alignment. We don't wanna open our hip here. We want to keep the hips in one straight line. Hold for your inhale. And on the exhale, the left foot plants between your hands. So we really step it up. 
inhale, look forward. And on the exhale, the weight's coming into your hands and your front foot as the right foot floats all the way up, standing split. Melt your forehead down, melt your heart down. Float the right toes as high as you can. You got this, breathe. Flex the right toes. And we're gonna plant that right foot in a warrior two position. So you wanna make sure that front heel is in line with the arch of your back foot. Roll down the pinky edge of your back foot. Light on your fingers, we float on up to find our warrior two. So really arrive, claim your space. Head over heart, heart over pelvis. Don't be tempted to lean forward here. Really find your foundation. Tuck your tail under, track the left knee over your third toe and roll down the knife edge of your right foot, activating your inner thighs. Floating hands onto the horizon, really check them out. And then draw the pinkies back. If it feels right, look over your left hand and draw the chin in. Really active through that back leg, breathe. On your next inhale, we're gonna straighten your front leg. So ready, inhale, we straighten. Exhale, we bend. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. This time, flip your palms. And as you straighten, the arms float overhead. So inhale, straighten and rise. Exhale, warrior two, palms face down. Flip your palms, inhale, straighten and rise. Exhale, warrior two, palms float down. One more time. Straighten and rise, stay at the top this time. The right hand grabs the left wrist, dragging it up and back. So we start to really reach that side body. So you wanna have the sensation that your left armpit is going back and the right armpit is coming forward as we spiral the heart upwards. Find your edge. Flip the left toe up, reach. Roll through that left foot, cartwheel the hands, framing the front foot as the right hand plants, the right heel comes off the ground. Left fingertips float to the sky. Reach. Send the right heel back. Send the left fingers higher. Inhale. Exhale, plant the left hand. Inhale, look forward. And exhale, float the left foot back to find your plank. Now zip up your plank, glue your legs together, squeeze your bottom, squeeze your thighs, send the heels back, dome your upper chest, look forward. Elbow creases face the front of your mat. We're gonna lower down either belly to cobra or chaturanga up dog. Here we go, hold for your inhale. Exhale, lower your heart. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, hips to the sky, downward facing dog. Breathe. Head is loose, pedal it out. Listen to your heartbeat. Find your stillness. Breathe. <sighs> Anchor through your left heel. Inhale, right heel rises. Dial the toes to the left. Really kick back. Don't be tempted to open that hip up. We want to keep it solid. Hold for your inhale. And on the exhale, float the right toes forward. Plant them between your hands. Inhale, look forward. 
Plant the hands, float the left toes all the way. Standing split, heart melts, crown drops, head is loose. Reach the left toes high. Flex your left foot. Lower it down with power and control, finding warrior two legs. Check your alignment. Heel to the arch of the back foot. Warrior two. Adjust as you need. Go through your checklist if you want to. So knee over ankle, tracking the knee across your third toe. Knife edge of the left foot rolling down. Head over heart, heart over pelvis, tuck your tail. Float your arms onto horizon pinkies lead you back. Breathe. You are strong. We're going to straighten your front leg. Inhale to straighten. Exhale to bend. Inhale to straighten and bend. Straighten and bend. Now we incorporate the arms as well. Flip the palms. Inhale, straighten, arms rise. Exhale, bend. Warrior two. Flip palms. Straighten and rise. Exhale, warrior two. Straighten and rise. Warrior two. This time we stay up. Inhale. Sky archer, left hand, right wrist up and over. So the sensation is that your right armpit is coming back, the left armpit is coming forward as you reach, reach, reach. Flip the right toes, you got it. Rolling through your warrior. Windmill arms, frame the front foot, left hand plants, left heel rises, right fingertips float to the sky, reach. So you want to send the left heel back and the right fingertips high. Breathe. Hold for your inhale. Exhale, plant the fingers. Inhale, look forward. And exhale, steps the right toes back, you're in plank. Elbows radiate forward, zip it up, you got it. Either belly to cobra or chaturanga to up dog, just link it to your breath. So inhale at the top, exhale, heart lowers. Inhale, rise, either cobra or up dog. Exhale, hips to the sky, down dog. Beautiful. Anchor through the right heel. Your body knows this now. Inhale, left heel rises. Exhale, plant the left toes. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, standing split. Drop the right toes towards warrior two. Up we come. Straighten your leg, inhale. Bend to exhale. Straighten to inhale. Bend to exhale. Involve your arms this time. Flip the palms. Inhale, rise. Exhale, bend. Inhale to rise. And bend. Staying up this time. Inhale to rise. Exhale, Sky Archer. Flip the toe. Roll through, Warrior Two. Cartwheel your hands. Right hand plants, release the back heel. Float the left fingers, simple twist. Inhale. Exhale, plant the hand. Look forward, inhale. Exhale, steps you back. Inhale in plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. 
plant the left heel. Inhale, right foot rises. Exhale, plant the right foot. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, standing split. Flex the foot. Warrior two legs. Windmill the arms to find your warrior two. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. Involve the arms. Inhale, straighten. Bend, warrior two. Flip the palms, straighten. Inhale and bend. We stay up this time. Inhale. Sky archer. Flex the toe. Roll through warrior two. Windmilling the hands, left hand plants, release the left heel. Right fingertips float to the sky, inhale. Exhale, plant the hand. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step the right toes back, our final vinyasa, elbows in, inhale. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. You did it. Breathe. We're going to lower the knees to the ground ever so gently. Big toes together to touch and the knees as wide as your yoga mat. And send your hips all the way back. Balasana. Relax and breathe. Listen to the sound of your own breath. Tuning in. How do you feel? Taking the role of the witness here, you don't need to judge yourself, just notice. Scanning through your body, from your crown to your toes. What is your body trying to say? We're going into revolved child from here. So send the fingertips forward. A little bit more weight is going to go into your right hands. As your left hands thread the needle under the little triangle created by your armpit, we send the left fingertips all the way through so that your left ear can come to the mat. Keep sending your hips back, keep sending the left fingertips over and reaching the right fingertips forward. Breathe. Gently, gently. We untwist, send the left fingertips forward and thread the needle with your right hand. It goes all the way over the left side of your mat so your right ear can find the ground. Send the left fingertips over, keep sending the bottom towards your heels and reach the left hand forward. Gently, gently um, thread your needle and using your hands, bring your chest to upright. We're going to cross at the ankles and send your bottom all the way back. Keep your legs forward. Ah. <laughs> We're going to float your right shin parallel to the ground and the left shin is going to join it and you're going to Zip your legs up so your knees are now glued together and your ankles and your big toes. Lift your heart super duper high. If this is enough for you already, you can stay here. Scoop your belly in, draw belly button to spine. Float the right fingertips up if you can and then the left. Reach it forward, lift your heart. Begin to straighten out the legs. You got this, shaking is good. Breathe, <laughs> breathe, breathe, breathe. 
relax everything in and then we send it out you got it squeeze your legs lift your heart you got this one more time let it go and then send it out shaking is good <laughs> we're gonna hug everything in find your little egg shape as we start to cool down Your left sole is going to stay on the ground. We're going to roll onto our backs. The left sole stays on the ground. The right sole, we're lifting up towards the ceiling. So the knee is bent and the foot is parallel to the ceiling. Pop your left hand on your left thigh to anchor it down. And your right hand can grab anywhere along this leg. So if you can't reach your foot, it doesn't matter. Just grab your shin and start tugging it. If your hand does reach your foot, you can go for the arch or the outside of your foot. And you want to peel the foot open and gently bring it down. It's half of a happy baby. The left knee can splay out as your counterbalance, left hand, weighting that hip down as you gently tug half of a happy baby. Feels good to rock here. Listen to what your body needs. Breathe. If it feels right to open your leg out, that's always an option. Otherwise, keep it bent, half of your happy baby. Breathe. We release that foot to the ground and gently swap to the other side. So the right hand weighs down the right hip, the sole of the left foot parallel to the sky and the left hand can find its place on the leg. Just let go of frustration. It's okay if you can only reach your thigh, it doesn't matter. It is what it is. If you do reach your foot, your choice to do the arch or the outer edge as you peel it back and gently ease the knee down. We want to relax your shoulders, relax your face, relax your jaw. The right knee splays out to the side as your counterbalance. And you breathe. Hmm. Starting to connect to your body. Slowly, slowly releasing that foot. We're bringing the big toes and the balls of both of your feet together to touch. Heels touch. Supta Baddha Konasana, reclining butterfly. So your choice, whether you want to have your heels close to you or far, far away, just choose. Ah, breathe. Just for a moment, release your hips. We have one little inversion and then we'll be done. So this is where we're coming back to before our final shape. So your choice now. You can choose to simply send the feet to the sky, knees relaxed and have this style of inversion. If you wanted to, and if it's in your practice, you can certainly go now to your shoulder stand, half shoulder stand or plow. So your choice, make sure you move with integrity and make sure you're safe, don't move your neck. Make your way up and into plow or however you like to be inverted. And we just take some breaths, breathe. Slowly, slowly rolling back down, finding your way onto your back. Again, bringing the balls of the feet to touch, rolling the soles of your feet to touch, lowering your knees, Supta Baddha Konasana. Relaxing the hands and just breathing. 
if it works for you to bring one hand to heart and one hand to belly. Breathe. Very, very slowly sending your right heel towards the right corner of your mat, the left heel to the left corner. Releasing the arms, snuggling shoulders under if that feels good, closing your eyes and finding Shavasana. We are running right on time. So don't race off your mat. Claim these last minutes just for you. Breathe. Starting to invite gentle movements back into fingertips and toes. <sighs> gentle twists of the wrists and the ankles. Rocking your head side to side. Starting to deepen your breath. And sending fingertips overhead, a full body stretch like you're waking up from the biggest sleep ever. <sighs> Bending the left knee, rolling to your right. Planting the left hand and pressing on up. Finding your seated position. Turning palms down this time, hands resting somewhere on your thighs, chin floating parallel to the ground one last time, and eyes to gently shut. Taking a moment to acknowledge yourself. Bringing hands to gentle prayer at your heart, lifting heart to meet your thumbs. Setting your intention for the next hour or day or week or month or for the rest of your life. Connecting to the energy we just cultivated. Together we take a big breath in through your nose. And an open mouthed exhale, we let everything go. Inhale through your nose. And an open mouthed exhale. Thank you for joining me, the divine in me recognizes the divine in you and together to ourselves and each other we say namaste.